<laughs> okay. So you're going to see some people popping on here. And then we should be up on Facebook in, see, countdown. Yay. <laughs> there we go. Um, hey, Instagram and Facebook. Hello. Pop in, say hello. Hi. And hello. <laughs> hello. All right. Let's get cozy. Since we're Everyone's sharing a bit of a small Everyone's desk cool. space here. It's a little tougher to get us both on Instagram, but I think we're good. We're good. Um, all right. Come on in, friends. We wanted to do a little share today. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to our first week of homeschooling. Uh, you actually wanted to start last week. Yeah. We almost did. We almost started early. Um, so welcome in. Welcome in. We're only we're going to be here until about 4.30 together. Uh, if you're just popping in, I'm streaming on Instagram and the Facebook brand page. Yes. And I have a special guest today. My daughter, Chloe, is going to um, share in a few minutes. And uh, she wants to share some of her you know, top picks and, and things that she has realized as we've been going through kind of a trial week this past week, going through some of the curriculums and platforms and apps and things that um, we're, we're going to be using to supplement uh, the curriculum that we're doing for homeschool. So I just want to, yeah, we have, it's been quite a week, hasn't it? It's been fun though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It hasn't, it's I mean, fun. I think it's a good sign that you still want to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys, if you are new to this topic, you probably, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you've seen that I've been posting over the last few weeks, um, our process, just what we've been going through as we prepare to homeschool and, and take life by design to the next level. Uh, you can find everything I'm, I'm talking about and more today. If you go over to the blog, wholefit.com forward slash blog, uh, forward slash homeschool. I actually, there's a ton of content there. Uh, and I, what I also did was I took the blog and I put it into an ebook so that it's something you could save to your desktop. Um, or, you know, just have some, some kind of quick reference that you can pull up the links when you need them. Okay. Uh, you'll also find on the blog, I've done a couple of videos over the last few weeks on this topic. So, oh, there's daddy. Aww. He's on watching you. Um, I've done a couple of different videos that you'll see hosted on that blog. Uh, the first one was a few weeks ago. I had my friend Monica on who's been homeschooling for 10 years. She just authored a book, uh, called homeschool by design. Um, we had a great conversation. We went through some of the top questions that I certainly um, have had through this prep process. And I know many of you may have these same questions too. So we had a good chat. And then last week, I think it was, I, I came on um, Instagram to share more of our reason for homeschooling. Um, and so I'm going to actually upload that recording from last week and um, I'll put it to the blog and, and YouTube and... Uh, Oh, one sec. It says we're not showing on Facebook. Um, okay, bear with me here. Sorry, I just looked over at the comments. I had an issue last uh, time I was on here trying to get something going. But um, you know what, you guys? If you can't see, hop over to Instagram where we're nice and clear. Um, okay, what else do I want to share just before we go into it? Um, yeah, so, you know, really what we wanted to share with you today is kind of, is the last video, I guess, that I'll be doing on this topic. We'll probably check in after a couple of weeks of, of doing homeschooling just to talk more about how it's going. You can give them the real deal at that point. Um, but we've spent this last week trialing, like I said, different, I mean, I, as I was getting into this process, I realized there are so many resources out there. It's overwhelming, to be honest, when you're first um, jumping into this topic of homeschooling and, and trying to make a decision, I guess, whether or not you want to. And so what I did is <clears throat> going back about six weeks ago, once we had decided we were going to be homeschooling, I just started saving all of the resources I came across and ultimately I put them up onto the blog. But we spent this last week trialing um, you know, out of each category. So we went through five or six different apps in the math category, um, math and language arts, 
uh, at least for our girls who are going into grade four and six, those two topics are most of the week. Every um, day. Yeah, actually every day we have some math and some language arts and then we vary, um, you know, French and arts and language or um, geography and history and social studies, right? So we really wanted to nail down some some cool apps and, and just ways to, to vary the learning approach so it's not just book work, right? And something that if we, if we feel we need to switch it up, um, then we could easily just switch to an app that we know uh, we like. So um, you can find everything we're gonna share with you right now on the blog. It's all linked. Uh, some of the things you do need to pay for, but uh, honestly, you guys, you, could, you can homeschool for free. There are a lot of great um, apps. There's a lot of great worksheets. Um, even curriculums like Khan, K-A-H-N, is completely free. So you, you don't have to spend money, which, which may surprise you if you're, if you're new to this. But um, it also, on the flip side, can get very expensive because there, there are tons of different options out there. So we want to highlight for you uh, the top picks out of each category. One thing I'll just mention before we go into it, when you go to the blog, you'll see that uh, and this comes to you in the ebook, okay, which is totally free. Um, one of the, one of the sheets in there, the templates is an opportunity for you to map out your learning plan. So I'm going to show it here on Instagram. I'm actually going to close out Facebook because I don't think we're working over there. Can you and see? No, something's, something's wrong over there. So we're going to stick with Instagram. Top on Instagram. <laughs> All right. So we're going to stick with this. I think everyone can see us okay. Uh, so I'll just come up close. Oh, it, Facebook is working right now. Yeah, I know. No, she said it isn't working. Oh, so they're sorry. hopping over. Okay. So this is what the learning plan looks like. This is what we're working with or planning to work with. And um, what I did was, so so first what I did was I looked at the Ontario curriculum where we work, where we live, and there it, it spells out for you you know, what the expectations are of each grade. So that's a good starting point. And then I talked with a teacher friend of mine who uh, was able to tell me, okay, in typical schooling this year for these grades, this is how much time they would be spending on various topics. So I worked with that and, and landed on something that came pretty close to that. Uh, also recognizing, you know, when you're homeschooling and you're able to do more one-on-one -on -one focus, you, you move through things quicker, right? So there's more of that ability to spend, you know, you can spend more time on certain things if it's not sticking and you can skip through some things if it's something that's well understood already, right? So um, this, this is what we came up with. I color coded things. So Monday, for example, you can see there um, math, science, and language arts. And then here in the notes for us, we um, color coded, you know, what app or worksheet or whatever we want to use to supplement so that uh, language arts, for example, if we're dedicating 90 minutes to it, we might do, you know, half and yeah. half, half, half on a, an app half, or a game yeah. um, and the other half worksheets. So, so that's that. That's one of the templates. Um, you guys will see the right at the very top of the blog post. You can enter your name and email and the ebook with this and lots of other helpful resources will come to you immediately. Okay. So, Chloe, darling, yes. <laughs> let's over to you, babe. Let's let's go through this. I'm gonna. Um... I'm scared. You're scared. Oh, uh, no. yeah. This is kind of your first. Well, you've done a couple of videos over the years. A couple. 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 But I was young and very foolish. Oh, really? No. I now was you're silly. very wise. Silly. Okay. I was silly, not foolish. Now you're wise. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about art first. Okay. So. Um, and if you need a reminder, I've put on our notes here. Okay, so art, we are doing um, a couple days a week in the afternoon. And um, we looked at, at, there's a lot of free things out there. You'll see when you go to the blog that I think I've listed um, four or five that were really cool, really good. Um, but we landed on Waldorfish. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Waldorfish? Waldorfish? Wal Waldorf-ish. Waldorf Waldorf-ish. 
It might be Waldorf-ish. Like no Waldorf fish. Like a fish. It has an F. Waldorf I know. Fish. <laughs> okay, we're not sure. Uh, <laughs> someone correct us. But um, so listen, this this we loved, right? What did you love about it? Waldorfish. Mm-hmm. Well, Waldorf fish, or whatever it's called. Um, I liked how it would go step by step, and you can always pause it if you need to catch up. But it would. It would like show you how to do it and in the end, sometimes we would just start the video and then go to the end to see how it looks and it was like, wow, how did that line turn into that? So we, me and my sister would just follow the steps and actually they do it in crayon, but me and Emmy, we, me and my sister, we tried something more challenging. We did, we have these watercolor pens. You just write on it, put some water on it and we did mm -hmm. that. Those are turned cool. out better. Actually, um, we found a new set of those watercolor crayons online, so I linked yeah. them up in the shop on that um, on that blog post. But you know, when so the girls are coming out of a Waldorf school. Some of you know that, and one of our favorite elements of the Waldorf environment is the peaceful watercolor art mm -hmm. that is all over the school. Even the bathrooms are, are painted that yeah. way. So. Um, painted pink. Yeah, very calming, very peaceful. So we were really excited to discover this art program. A friend let me know about. Um, so this was uh, what I love about, it, and I actually just signed up for the year this morning. Uh, you can sign up to get a free set of yeah. lessons, which we did last week during our trial week, and that's how we realized, oh yeah, this is this is good. So it is actually like an art program that it is an art program that goes for the entire year so um, you have it's a one-time fee and then there's a library of um, there's some recordings but then some that ha that you receive fresh every week um, and it's not it's not a like a FaceTime zoom type experience which the girls Just are pretty burnt out on so. I'm fine are you <laughs> okay. other other sisters not so fine well you don't you weren't so crazy about having to be on zoom yeah, I know Right, so um, a couple of other things I'll just mention under the art category. Um, we hung some twinkle clip lights in the, the learning area uh, of our home. And that, took, that was one of those little details that took it to that next level, but we're planning to hang their artwork as they complete it. So our goal is to just fill our walls this year with, with all the artwork, right? Yeah. Just, you know, explore get super creative learn new things um i'm basically taking down all of the art i've ever purchased in my life to just put up your artwork so just so you know okay <laughs> okay was there anything else in art we looked at crafty classroom that was another one we like everything's oh, free on there or wow art wow art on youtube yes you just it's free and it's really cool actually you just do like a dab like every single painting you start off with dabs of color, and then mm -hmm. it will show you how to blend it in and stuff. And trust me, it's like it's pretty funny because blowing. the artist will put yeah, like four little dots yeah. of of paint on a sheet of paper. You're like, oh, this will be easy. And then and you then, fast forward to the yeah. end. It's like this big blossom tree with birds Cherry in the blossoms background. And, yeah, chirping. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but yeah, that's 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 a free one. Hi, oh, Emmy. hi, Abby. Hi, Emmy. And Logan. <laughs> Everyone's Logan. on. Um, okay, what topic do you want to do next? I math? Know you pick. Sure. Okay, let's talk about math. So with math being something, so we're doing it every day for 60 minutes. So we're starting our day with math. We're going to get the, the heavy out first. And, um, you know, so in addition to the curriculum we've purchased, we came across two tools that, the girls absolutely loved, um, and I'll, I'll share one that they realized they didn't like so much that I thought they would like. Maybe I'll, I'll start with that one. Okay. So the, the one I thought they would really like was called Adapted Mind. I actually mentioned it last week uh, when I went live here with you guys, and they found it too childish, <laughs> right? Especially you. I think that yeah. maybe Emmy would have Emmy, enjoyed it. she liked it, but... I thought it was too kiddish. It yeah, was and like it was yeah, like bit, yeah. Emmy did grade. She did grade four or three, and then 
the person talking was like, hi, kids. And then I went on to my grade, and it did the exact same thing, except harder math yeah. questions. So. It, was, it, it would be great for yeah. some of the younger grades. Yeah. Um, but it was one that I, I per- you, and again, with all of these things, you can purchase a trial. So I, I, I found it to be really helpful for us to take a, a solid week and just really dive in and explore them. So what we did realize the girls loved, number one was? Pro- Prodigy. Prodigy. It's free. Prodigy's free. It's an yeah. app. What do you like about it? Well, it's like your character and like, you have to like battle these monsters. That sounds really kiddish, but it's kind of fun because you just go around the island and you find new monsters and you have to battle them and you have to do spells on them. That sounds really kiddish now. It sounded <laughs> better in my mind, but and like how you do the spells, you have to. It will it will show up like a whiteboard and then, um, and then like you have to answer the questions. It, it they're pretty hard actually. For Emmy, even she was stuck. She's like, ah, I can't get this one. So look at lots of people are saying they love Prodigy. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's that's free. a good one. It's really is it good. totally free or is there like paid yeah, upgrades? Yeah, it was free. Okay, I didn't check that. Uh, yeah. But probably the most loved was for math. Oh, Avent- mm-hmm. Yeah, Adventure Academy. It it is paying, but I like it. For some reason, it felt like it was in an actual school. It's kind yeah. of like you have a character and you actually get to choose where you want to go. Mm-hmm. And sometimes if you, like, if you're not even doing, like, say it's a weekend and you just want to play Venture Academy for the fun, it's actually pretty fun because, like, you can design your own house on there. But, and then you go to this thing in the game and then, like, there's so many games or so many cartoon videos like for every age, like you you don't pick a grade in in the beginning like usual apps. You just go to the games and stuff, and it's like. Mm-hmm. Um, and Adventure Academy also does science. I believe they do social studies. It it does all the subjects. I think yeah. it does all of them. Yeah. If you is... just need to search up the. Program. It's a really like fun a way to, yeah. to learn, yeah. Like, I mean, I love watching you guys on in it. In the it's game, cute. I would just run across the whole place doing quests with math and videos and stuff like that. I was learning about Egypt the other day. <laughs> Don't ask me any questions. <laughs> um, so Adventure Academy is $60 US a month. Um, so that's one that we've, we've paid for as well. And then just to skip ahead to science, we're going to be using that for the science as well. So, um, and again, what I'm planning to do is just break up the blocks. So it's 50-50 time spent in book work mm-hmm. together and then um, yeah. the other half of the block. There's 60 minutes for math each day or sometimes 45. So we split that up 30 minutes book work and then we go on to the app. Yeah, yeah, just to shake it up. Uh, language arts. Let's go to that next. So that's the other big chunk topic for your grades. Um, so there, there's three things that we're planning to do um, that the girls are loving and are going to develop in this area. So the first one is zookeeper. That's amazing. I it's pretty it. cool. Night, yeah. zookeeper. Night zookeeper. Is it paying? Um, it is. So it's 120 US per year. And it's another gaming style way of learning to read and write, works on grammar, spelling. What else is cool about it? Well, like, you like, you draw stuff. Like today I was playing a little, like in the beginning, you basically like draw a monster and do quests, but then kind of when you're like the second day you play, you just play games, and one of them is actually very hard for me. I'm always trying to level up on it, but it's like where these spiders are dropping down from the wall, and they, they say like a hard word, like, I don't know, probably for Emmy, like... Like chrysanthemum. Yeah, yeah, like that, and then it's like Name it's the movie. dropping slowly, and you have to hurry up and type it, and then it will disappear. Or oh, if it gets cool. to the end, you lose. Do you get points or yeah. coins or yeah, something? Yeah, you get orbs. Orbs. And then you can buy stuff. Orbs. For your monsters. Okay. Fun. So, so that was a definite one. The other two things are um, more routines that we're building in. So the first thing um, was I picked up 
both of the girls uh, a big life journal. You guys heard of this? Um, they're really cute. They, they help develop a growth mindset in kids and it's little activities and exercises. And so we're at this point planning to spend an hour each week in the big life journals. And, um, you know, of course that develops in the language arts area too. And, and just, it's one of those, um, hours that kind of bridges overlaps in, in various categories. So, but the, the other thing that we just started this past week that we're all loving is cozy hour at night of um, read-alongs. So we're curling up in the hour before bed and they curl up next to me. We have a, a chapter book. Um, we started with Harry Potter, the first one, this I last can't week. I we've never read it. It's I know, but I'm glad we're reading it together. Yeah, it's fun. So I read the first 30 minutes and I use a little bookmark to track my reading, so they follow along. They're they're reading. So we learn yeah. words. Yeah, and the pronunciation, and, and it's it's great. We love it. And then they go on to read something else for thirty minutes on their own. So that's something we built in at night as part of our night routine, just to help with the wind down. And um, they've got some time before that to play Nintendo or watch a show <laughs> or something. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Last. French. So they were taking, when they were at Waldorf, they were taking French and German. Um, and so we're just going all in on French now. And we're using Duolingo. Duolingo. It's really good. Yeah, it's great. And again, it's free, right? Mm -hmm. It's another free one. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's free. Yeah, it is. Again, it, is. it might have paid upgrades, but, um, and I did see another, somebody comment saying that Prodigy had paid upgrades, but we're really? loving the free version so far. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Duolingo is great. It makes, it makes learning another language so fun and you can yeah. actually learn so many different languages on there. Um, we're sticking with French. If you're in the U S you might be looking at Spanish, right? Um, but that's, you know, in one day in a couple of years, we'd like to go to France. I want to go on a girl's trip to Paris. Maybe we'll bring daddy. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Yes. We'll um, bring. let's finish up talking about a few extra touches. Like, that we've done to, that really, you know, I, as we were preparing for this, I'd say that daddy and I brought this whole concept to like the 80% mark. And then you and Emmy drove it over the finish line with some little tweaks and things you added in. So what were a couple of things that when I asked you, you know, what would make this just your dream homeschool? Well, like the classroom and then, like, the classroom is amazing. Like, my mom decorated it amazingly. What was it in there that, th the first time you saw it, there was something that... Yeah, I don't know the pictures. The pictures on the wall, they seriously, like, they made me like, oh, this is going to be a good year. And I teared up, and then me and my mom had a little moment. We did, we did. But... I... I the and I want to just mention on. that for a second. Those, I... I I went on Pinterest. I spent um, like an hour the one morning, <laughs> yeah, hours. basically, um, finding totally. artwork to print. And I, I saved it. I linked you up with the Pinterest board. Uh, and I just, we had some frames from Ikea. Mm -hmm. They're like eight by 11 size frames. And I printed these images off of Pinterest and then hung them in the little learning area. And that was like the, the extra little thing that because you were you were away for a couple of days with nana and i i decorated with those and you came home and that was really cute and big then surprise. little twinkle lights right for yeah. the art that the made globe. a big difference i like the globe and the globe we bought a globe uh you know but i do want to say you guys we're we've set up our learning space in our basement because i thought okay if we're doing this we need an area where it's quiet and we're not you know constantly all in motion and initially you guys did not love the idea of of having a class in, in the basement on our yeah. lower level. Just the basement in our basement is dark and really cold down there. <laughs> and I, cool. I'm never I'm never going down there to do something. So Right. But now I like me and Emmy just wanna hang out, we'll go down to our classroom. Yeah, and I I found what really helped with that was um, asking the girls first, you know, what would make this space just feel really special. Um, but then it was as simple as 
little twinkle lights and some artwork on the walls and, and it just really felt like a space they wanted to come down to but yes the the other there were two other things that they said you know what if we could do this that would just make it take it all to the next level so the first thing was lockers lockers <laughs> i never would have thought of that to be honest they they had little locker style cubbies at school i just like um in waldorf the next the next grade when I, if I was staying at Waldorf, I would have got lockers that year. And then I was thinking, oh, dang, I'm going to miss out on that. And then I was like, it's so fun to decorate them. I watched so many videos of them doing it. So and then one night I was staying up in my notebook, writing down on, like locker stuff. And yeah. then like 11, I went into mom's bedroom and said, it would be fun to have lockers. And she's like, all right, next minute we're on Wayfair. <laughs> <laughs> so I linked up the ones that we purchased. I mean, you can find them. And actually, you can find um, some cute lockers right now at um, like Home Goods or Home Sense or Winter. Like they, they're really a lot of them have. They yes. are, they're pretty cool. Yeah, so we actually put the lockers on our main floor to encourage us to, before we start our school day, they go to their lockers, they get their you know, their books and everything. We sit at the, we're going to sit at the dining table to go over the lesson plan for the day. And yeah. it's also a nice way to re to end the day is they're going to, you know, come back to the dining table. We'll just look over everything quickly before we tuck it away in the locker. Yeah. I wanted it far away from my classroom for some reason, because I wanted the feeling of carrying those heavy books. <laughs> the <laughs> true school experience, right? We don't want to miss out on some of these things. Mean girls pushing um, your book down on the floor. <laughs> no mean girls here. This is great, right? So there's one more thing that I was surprised that you wanted <laughs> no. because I did not have a choice and that is uniform. Yeah, I had to wear a uniform growing up. I It wasn't my favorite part of school to be honest, but I liked I always wanted to go to school with uniforms because personally in the morning it was very hard for me. Like to pick what I'm wearing, I'm like, oh, let's wear this, and then I put it on. I'm like, Ugh, what was I thinking? <laughs> Diva. And then, yeah. <laughs> you're so cute. Talking so you want to wear a uniform so you don't have to um, make a decision every day. Not just that. that. I just liked the style of me and Emmy being in the same thing, and I don't know. And then we went in our rooms and picked out our uniforms. They did. They picked. Black tights. White on gray. Black, Black tights. tights. Really nice skirts. But, yeah. And then a white collared shirt. And then, like, a, a white sweater with pearls, like, instead of buttons. And then we do the collar flap over the... I should, I should find a picture for you of the uniform I wore. So I had to wear a navy blue jumper with a white sh collared shirt and a burgundy ribbon. And if oh, that ribbon really? came untied through school, oh, no. we would get in trouble. Like I would miss out on recess. If it happened multiple Strict. times, parents would get called. I mean, it was crazy. So I, I think that my detachment to uniforms came from that experience, but we'll make it more fun than that. But you know, I get that, I get that. Because I've talked about this before that um, working from home, I often wear the same thing every day, right? What is mommy always wearing? You're always, should I say it? What? You're always wearing Lululemon pants. Well, leggings. Leggings. Like, never get out of leggings. And a tank top. And a top, and then in the winter, I've got a toque on. Because the less decisions I have to make on clothes in the morning, uh, the more decisions I can make in my business and get in and get out. So, I get it. I totally get it. So... Anyway, uh, that's that. Again, we'll end up by, I'll just let you know that if you go to the blog, you'll find the, the links to what we talked about today, uh, their top choices out of the categories. And we, I actually, on the blog, I put a star next to those just to highlight like yeah, after I they- I saw you doing that yeah. yesterday. Well, and you guys went through every yeah. option that I had compiled and you chose your top two and then we narrowed it down from there, so. Yeah. yeah. Piano. Piano we're just using. Well, tell I'm them what you found for piano. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> I was about to say in That's right. No, I you was insist. about to say exist. If you exist. If you exist. That's what my sister says. And me. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> okay. Anyways. What are we using for piano? I actually used, well, we started off trying Simply Piano, but I found it a little bit too hard for me. It wasn't really going step by step. It would like skip something. It was like, it would be like easy. And then it would just go on like play this. And I'd be like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and then actually, I just went on YouTube and searched up, I searched up, <gasps> what? I searched up Titanic. Obviously. Piano. I love Titanic. And then, I was, I keep playing it every single morning. I'll go to the piano and just play it. So, I just searched up on YouTube, I just searched up Titanic piano and then easy. And then, like, Every sing- you can search up any song. You don't need to search up Titanic. Like you can search up like the song and then piano easy. And then it's kind of there- it looks like it's an app on YouTube, but it's not. It's you should find one with the notes in the little bars that will come down and you play it on your piano, because that helped me because my mom just got stickers. Yeah, um, I, I made some YouTube playlists, and so some of these tutorials that she found helpful, we saved in there, yeah. So uh, we also looked up, the other day we had someone at the house tuning the piano, and if you, if you guys caught on my Insta stories, he played this beautiful song, and actually so many of you asked what that song was, so I just wanted to grab it for you. It's called A River Flows In You by Yeruma, Y R. Y I R U M A. And so we've saved these easy piano tutorials. And after the girls tried different apps and even um, reading music from a book, they found that these were the easiest ways to learn. So. Well, I found. Hmm? I found. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really. Yes. An easy way. Um, hey, so do you guys have any questions? Yes. Before we any questions? wrap. My daughter plays that. It's a beautiful song. Oh my yes. goodness, brought tears to my eyes. It was just like so touching to see somebody in their element playing Any a song questions, like that. Any questions? Write it in the comments, and we'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> You're a natural at this. This is great. Oh, we'll have to do more of these videos day? together this year. Anyone say anything? I'm just scrolling up. Wow. Um, somebody said that they've never met Chris in person, but I be- they believe you're his mini me. Yeah, I am. I would agree. With even though I basically did all the work <laughs> to bring you here. <laughs> Great live. Are you using the good? You know what? Oh, yes. A good question. Yes. Someone asked, are you using the good and the beautiful? We were going to. Okay. We're in Canada. Keep that in mind. So good and the beautiful is a curriculum based out of the U.S. And so I sat with a friend of mine who um, is a teacher. As we were going through it, we realized, you know what, I think I'd rather do more buffet style, grabbing, because some of the content wasn't going to be geared towards Canada. Uh, so, and it's also not really strong in math, not yet. I think they're working on different things. Um, they're really strong in language arts. But it, it's a, it is a beautiful curriculum, but we decided to patch together from various places, so I worked with a teacher on that. Wait, someone asked a question about me. Oh, uh, there's lots of... Um, I know. Kids, kids watching with their moms. That's nice. This is awesome. Chloe, what are you most excited about for this year? Um, I'm excited to start. Like, summer break is amazing, but I've just, like, I've asked mom, can we please just start? She's like, no, I don't have the worksheets ready yet. <laughs> isn't isn't someone coming today? To- Tomorrow. Okay. Purchase but, them. um, I am most excited to start our new homeschooling journey. I'm excited. What? I, I use big words. Um, <laughs> yes, we're doing phys ed. Daddy's excited oh, to start oh, phys ed. Okay. Uh, you know why? Because he can finally put his rec and leisure degree to use. So little did you know back in the days going to Brock that eventually rec and leisure. I don't even think that's a subject anymore. <laughs> but what are you saying? Daddy's there? excited to teach you phys ed. I'm just excited to start our journey. Just to get Me started. and Emmy sometimes pretend we're in school and we go to our lockers and say, Hey, I'm Chloe, nice to meet you. Emerson, oh, is that nice? <laughs> we just pretend and it's really weird, but um, 
Yeah, we do that, and it just gets me pumped up. Like, woohoo! Yeah. Homeschooling. Yeah, and, and you guys, I'll share. I'll share the links with the curriculums. We're actually um, purchasing them tomorrow, uh, so I'll share that with you once we have it. There. Um. What are we doing for phys ed? So we've actually started a YouTube playlist. It's really tough well, to find band little band. workouts for um, kids on YouTube that aren't, you know, kind of inappropriate at times. So anyway. We could do yoga. Yeah, yoga we're lining up. And um, I mean, bike while the weather is still nice, bike riding, going for some runs, going and playing tennis. And then in yeah, the winter, tennis. because we have, winter, we get tons yoga. of snow here. Our snowmans. Getting outside, building forts. I, I do want to try snowshoeing together for the first time. We might do that. Um, do you think you're going to miss your school and being with your friends? Um, well, it's really nice to be around people, but sometimes it was annoying, like distracting. Like, yeah, sometimes it just, yeah, and I didn't like the feeling of, like, the teacher would ask a question, I'm like, oh, I know this, 37. And then and then the teacher would call on somebody else, and he or she would say, 37, I'll be like, are you kidding me? Because I thought, like, I knew the answer, but I didn't say it out loud, because I'm always, I'm always nervous to say it in case it's wrong, because the mm. teacher will call you up on the whiteboard, and it's embarrassing and say write this question out and then do it all over again and then i'll be like oh because mm -hmm. i'm like i don't i don't like doing it dad said something that's something we're actually dad really focusing on this year with the girls is encouraging them to be wrong um because i think it's impossible in a group situation um to not feel embarrassed when you have the wrong answer right and it's something, as we were talking about this idea with the girls, I realized that was gonna be something we really wanna dive into. And then this morning on Instagram, you guys, I posted um, a video. Uh, it was actually something recorded years ago called, uh, the title of it is, Our Schools Killing Creativity. And um, in there, the idea is explored of how damaging it is when kids feel like they're not allowed to make mistakes and how it really destroys their ability to trust their creative ideas and to bring that forth into the world. And so I think that is one of the most important things we can instill in our kids and it's something that we're really gonna focus on as we, as we do this together. Okay, let me scroll up. There are a few questions that came through. We're seeing you. Um, we're seeing you. Yeah, and I mean, just someone else asked, I echo that, will you miss your friends? I mean, one of the, what we're doing is being very intentional about, um, for example, I went through. Yeah, like some, remember on Friday, I'll show, you can see, <laughs> I'm always bad with showing things on screens. On Friday, it basically just says an open day because we would have a teacher come on Saturday and a teacher come on Wednesday and our Nana would usually come teach on Tuesday, Thursday and Monday our parents would help in a little bit. So then Friday there's nobody... A little bit. A little bit. Just a little. Okay. And on Friday no one's coming so it's called an open day and the first thing is phys ed, then big life journals and then notes it says down there that's like in the afternoon or something it says a day for friends or a field trip together field trip just like, like yeah close like next week we're going to apple land just we'll, we'll pick probably one thing a month but yeah. what i did do was i looked at the pd day schedule uh for, for public schools kids. and private schools and so we can figure out you know what fridays Friends will be off and we'll plan that in. And then, you know, there's, the, the thing is. I think, I think I'll be fine if I'm not around that many kids. Yeah, I mean, it certainly helps having your sister here. I think it mm -hmm. would be uh, something. It would be, I would, it would be scary if my sister wasn't being homeschooled with me. It would just be. Yeah, you think it would be? Yeah. That'd be harder? Uh... So these are comments. Are you planning? There. Are you planning? 
So are you planning on being their full-time teacher? I know your business has a great foundation already. How about business builders that are still building the foundation? So uh, I think as you make this decision and, and really whenever you're making a change, consider your village when you do this. Consider the people you have around you that can um, help support you through change. And so the first thing that I did was I thought of our family, family that lives local. And I thought, you know, I talked to them and thought, what, what might they want to bring to this experience? And so um, Nana loves talking about history and loves talking about geography. And, and so yeah. she wanted to play a role in this. And so we started there. And then I thought of people that I knew that were teachers. And so we've, for the last three years, we've brought a teacher into our home, Lauren. Lauren, I love Lauren. Who we originally met through doing some Oxford. tutoring. Yeah, Oxford. and uh, she's been coming in for the last three years on Saturday mornings and was helping the girls just through things that they found challenging in the week. And so we're keeping her on um, to, to help on Saturday mornings, which is why we're taking Fridays off. Um, but then I also, uh, I was talking with a friend of mine who um, happens to be my massage therapist who um, it, who's done teachers college and so we we figured out a pretty sweet package deal where she's coming to the house one day a week for a couple hours and then doing a massage after so something for them something for mom um, but listen guys I mean yeah you know I run a large business and so my approach here what we've shared with you in in mapping out the learning plan and having school in specific blocks of the day is because that's the only way it's gonna work for us. Um, because I need to be able to be very uh, intentional with my time and when I'll be doing my my bigger work, I guess, the work that requires more of my, my brain uh, during times when I have help here, right? And then um, the other times where we don't, then we're full on deck through this experience. So. But we're doing school from nine till twelve most days, so we're we're finishing early. If you think about it. Yeah. In there's... middle school, you're really only getting like an hour, two hours Maybe, uh... of actual learning, because the other one, lunch, and then like the phys ed, the recess, the other classes that aren't actually learning just for fun, like games class and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, if you're if you're heading into this for the first time, like us, and if you have maybe a baby business that you've, you've only started in the last year and it's requiring a lot more of your time, then um, make it work for you. I mean, the cool thing with homeschool is you don't have to do it even during normal school hours. I, I think it's really important to think of your family rhythms and when everybody is um, more apt to be focused and uh, it might require for you as a business owner to get up two hours earlier before the kids. It might require you to do more later nights, or maybe you flip the whole thing and you do school in the afternoons from three to six and you work on your business in the day if that's when your business needs you. So that's the great thing. You can really you make can, it work for yeah, you. you. Yeah, you can do anything. Yeah. Like your kids you can do ask anything. for a request and you're like, we'll do it if it's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, I think what's really helped with this, what I've learned through this experience is you keep the conversation open and uh, I really wanted you girls to feel like you um, were part of this whole decision, that this was, wasn't something we were making mm -hmm. a decision on uh, for you. So that really helped this whole process. And like I said, when we started out two months ago talking about this, they, they liked the idea of it, but they didn't like the idea of having um, being in a separate room doing their work and, and so we, we slowly started working on things and I think that's been really helpful to take it one step at a time so I mean if you're in Canada and you're deciding to go have your first day of school of homeschool start when everyone else is in a couple of weeks and maybe you take this week and you really go through some of those trials <laughs> with your kids give them time to get to know um, the various ideas that you have so that they can choose and then the other thing we spent we've been spending a lot of time on is developing the morning and nighttime ritual. So we call our, our morning, what do we call our morning Magical ritual? Magical morning. Magical morning. We're good so at the morning. You're doing great at the morning. Um, and basically right after breakfast, I say, okay, magical morning time, and they know what to do. They go up, they brush their hair, they brush their teeth, make get their bed, dressed, they get make dressed. Make bed, turn off fan, open blinds, water plants, take out compost, take them for a walk, look at mail, come back. Done. 
magical morning. That's been the big one. So when we add school in, um, it's just this nice months. rhythm throughout the day. So you guys have been doing a great job with that, but it, it definitely took a good month yeah. of us focusing that consistency, so. But the night one's a little bit harder because we just started yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been slowly trying to work off of summer life. Uh, so we're, we're starting to scale it back. So we've got bedtime happening at nine o'clock. And in order for that to happen, we were doing the, the reading hour before to just wind her down. Yeah. Wind Anything her else down. you wanna tell the people? Yes. I think it's appropriate that we go to bed at 10.30. <laughs> well, I guess what? There's a lot of moms on here right now who are probably going to take my side on this. But that was a good try. Any kids watching? You might watching? stand a chance if there's some kids watching, but I do the like request they're, they're to your parents. parents. <laughs> um, um, jinx. Impersonated. What? Isn't that what you say? No, you say jinx and then you can't. Oh, whatever. Too complicated. Pretty sure impersonated is the next thing you say, but anyway. Um, okay, we're going to wrap there. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. Any you, last you questions? You did great. <laughs> yes. Any last questions? I like answering. She's so You, you want to take one more? Yeah. Someone give take this sweetheart one more question. Please. My birthday gift. What do you girls love languages in home? Oh, cool. Wait, what? Do you what? remember what your love language is? Your two love languages were from when we did the Oh. The quiz. Um, my top one was, yeah, I know what my top one was, but I forget the other ones. I, I know the Just last give your top one. one. Okay. The top one was, I, I feel warmed up when, warmed up. I love that. Mm -hmm. I feel warmed up when people compliment me. Like sometimes if I'm playing the piano and my mom comes and says, Honey, that's amazing. My heart will be like, oh, and I'll just be like, thanks, mom. Words yeah. of affirmation. Yeah. Yeah, you, you feel most loved then. Weirdly, my bottom one was receiving gifts, 5%. Did you think that would be higher? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Guess not. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a really beautiful. Yes, I hope I come back too for a lot. <laughs> Anytime. Thank you. I'm hey, so adorable. Now that we're home this often together. I'm What's sure your you'll favorite be on a lot snack? More. Hmm. Very nice question. Cool Ranch Doritos. Mm. Boom. Had them this Next. afternoon before. Next. <laughs> Drop the mic. What's your favorite um healthy-ish snack? I think I have none. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um I like having yogurt and granola and fruit, mm -hmm. and then I like some of your smoothies you make. Some of them? Not all some of them. Some of them. <laughs> I don't like the mango no, ones. Not. Okay. Any more questions, please? <laughs> <laughs> I like doing this. I think we're at the end. 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 All right, we're going to wrap it for now, because we're almost on an hour. We said we were only going to go 30 minutes. No. Um, One more. One more question. Amazing They'd love to see you. I know, I would love to see you guys again. <laughs> Please, anyone, one more question? Like, what's... My All right, one more, color? one more. Last one, and then we'll <laughs> hit cut. She's enjoying this. Yeah. Uh -huh. I am. I don't want it to end, because then we go to Lowe's. Maybe I'll come up with a question. Can I say, can I say what we're having for supper? That's okay. I mean, I'm going to come up with a question. Let favorite me... color, okay. Um, <laughs> my favorite color, probably... That's a tough one. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite show? <gasps> That's a great question. Oh my gosh, I want to answer that, Modern Family. Oh, I just blurted it out. Oh, the best show You're adorable. ever. Um, I understand yeah. everything. It's amazing. I'm so smart. Yeah, we forgot about that Favorite show. Nintendo game, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Next. Favorite oil. Peppermint. Mom, mom's too. What's your favorite summer activity with mom? Shopping. And then getting... Favorite movie? Thank you for all these questions. <laughs> um, oh, my favorite color blue, by the way. Favorite movie? Who's your favorite parent? I can't answer that. Dad. Obviously. <laughs> Both of you. Um, equally. Oh, what was the other one? Favorite movie? YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, these are so many. Um, movie? Titanic. 
Really? Uh, yes, I like it. It's sad, but it's nice. Nice to have a little bit of cry sometimes. Yeah. Um, favorite YouTube channel? I don't go on YouTube much, so. Well. Unless we're doing like know. artwork or something. Um, I forget the name, but it's something Draw Easy. It's a really good channel. I wish I knew so I could recommend it. Okay, last subject. one. Favorite subject at school? Hmm. Lunch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, as you look at all this, what are you most excited mm -hmm. to do? I'm most excited for time, time travel tea time. That's a lot to say. That's what we called history. Time travel tea time. So Nana yeah, comes over. A healthy snack. I need to answer. Oh. My peers need to know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yogurt and fruit and granola. Um, I, I think we'll just let the tapes run here. <laughs> yes. So we get cut you off. You can leave now. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Goodbye. Um, okay. She's a treasure. Aw. I know. Thank you for all these comments. These lovely, beautiful comments. They are. They are beautiful people. They warm my heart. Words of affirmation. <laughs> One more. <laughs> One more question. <gasps> oh, and LOL, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um any last thoughts um thank you guys for having me i'll see you next time on my new oh, channel uh, on my mom's channel Bake okay me. guys don't end don't end <laughs> all right we gotta go we got things to do you just circled your mouth you yeah. gotta go wait Ready? wait 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 what's your dog's name logan he's adorable that's a good one you two are so beautiful too. Okay. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Bye. I love you. <gasps> Bye. <gasps>